And welcome back to the Beerman Blog. Once again, welcome to December. We are doing the Beer Advent Calendars. Um, this is day one of the Costco Beer Advent Calendar. Now, the Costco Beer Advent Calendar, all the beers are from Germany. Uh, apparently, they have been collected by a company called Kalea. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. K-A-L-E-A. -E um... So there's lots of different German beers in here that I've never tasted before. Apparently they're all independent German breweries. So that is awesome. I figured I might as well try it out. Um, I did see they had this last year. Never got around to getting it, but I got it this year. So uh, we'll see how this goes. And we're starting off with beer number one. And, you know, what a, what a, what a start. December 1st, 2020, with the beer that says hell on it really big. 2020, hell. I mean, I don't know how exactly it's pronounced because I know it's like H-E-L-L-E-S in some other places, but this just says hell, so I'm going to pronounce it hell. I'm probably not pronouncing the type of beer wrong, but whatever. I'm also going to probably pronounce the brewery wrong. Flotzinger? Flotzinger? Something like that. Been around since 1543, actually, and I was looking at their website um, to get the description of the beer. It says, this is the cult beer for generations. This is off their website, flutzinger.de. Uh, the taste, they say, is full-bodied with mild hop note and pronounced malt aroma. High-quality Bavarian malt hops from the Hallertu. Hallertau, and the best aroma hops from Tetang, Tet, oh, sorry, Tetnang on Lake Constance, and the careful fermentation give the Flotzinger Hell its unique taste, a beer with a mild personality, and it also has a couple of awards, so hopefully that means this one's going to be pretty good, WBA World Beer Awards, the world's best lager, Hell and some other word I can't pronounce. So we'll see if it's actually any good. Um, hopefully it is. Um, get the old Halloween glass out. Yes, I know, but it's really the only glass glass I have that's a beer glass. So <laughs> unfortunately, that's what we got. All right. And with the Costco uh, advent calendar, you get cans, all cans. Unfortunately, they're not bottles, but they are nice big cans. I believe they are 16 ounce cans. One pint, 0.9 fluid ounce cans. This is a 5% alcohol beer. Uh, let's try pouring it in here and see what it looks like. Probably pour a little faster. You can also put a little bit more in here to get that. This one looks about the same as the earlier one today. Um, nice amber color again. Um, didn't really get much of a head, but again, I didn't pour it to get much of a head on it. Um, Go ahead and give it the smell and taste test here. Okay, that one smells not as strong. It still smells like a beer. Um, I would say, yeah, it's got like a smell of sweetness to it. Obviously, like a lot of grain, it's a more like a not a Budweiser smell, but maybe like a Miller Light slash Bud Light smell to it, maybe. I don't know. I haven't had beer in a long time. This is my second beer in a long time. My first one was the Aldi beer from the previous video. Um, but this one, well, we'll, we'll give it a we'll give it a we'll give it a taste here and see what we got. I'll also look on Beer Advocate here real quick and see what they say they gave it.
Okay, Beer Advocate gives, gives it a 79 for okay. And this one, I actually like the taste of this one. This one is smooth, not as carbonated again, but not bad. I, I like it. It's, hmm. I'm going to say it's got more of a malt flavor, malt consistency, or consistency, more malty than hoppy. Um, it has a much better aftertaste, nice and, it's got a crisp, crisp flavor to it. I would say, yeah, this one would be one I would actually, if it was somewhere to purchase, like if they had like, you know, cans like this or something on the cheap, I would probably purchase this before I would buy like a Budweiser or anything. I like this one. So, um, I would say, yeah, I mean, if they would import it and start making it available. Is it the, the best hell in the, the world? I don't know. I guess I haven't had very many in this style, so I couldn't tell you, but I will say it is very drinkable, very good, and I like it. So, good start for the Costco uh, beer calendar. Not that great of a start for the Aldi one, but the good start here for the Costco one. So, that is it for day one of the Costco advent calendar. And hopefully, we can keep this going every day up until Christmas Eve. So... If you've also got one of these and you're enjoying this on the same day, hey, salute. And until next time, everybody, until tomorrow, stay out of trouble.